It's a big world out there. Sooner or later, you're going to have to let me enjoy it, even if, you know, even if you don't want to. You know, Conrad, our ancestors, they were terrible people. They robbed, lied, pillaged, and killed until one day they found themselves noblemen. But that nobility, it never came from chivalry. It came from being tough and ruthless. Back then, to be called a gentleman would have been a death sentence, not the mark of honor it is today. We are Oxfords, not rogues. Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yabusha, Bahashim Rukakwadash. I want to give the honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And grace and peace to you elect around the four winds, believing and pushing his truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rokal your from the GMS Orlando camp. And tonight's lesson is going to be entitled, Recognize Your Enemies. All right, recognize your enemies. All right, tonight's lesson is going to be geared towards you Israelites. All right, you so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native American Indians who have yet to realize that you have enemies. All right, and that those enemies are hunting your steps, both physically, mentally, and spiritually. All right, one of those chief enemies being Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right, and for many generations now, that's been the elephant in the room that a lot of our people have been too afraid to address for the fear of being stomped or the fear of being disliked. All right, but now through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushua, we've been given the ability to stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted us and made no account of our labors. But so in the wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. All right, and to also proclaim the judgment, the great judgment of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, on these nations for touching the apple of his eye, which is our nation. All right, and to also proclaim the salvation that is coming to our nation from these enemies, man. All right, from these who afflict us, from these who hunt our steps daily. All right, and now's the time to recognize your enemies, man. All right, because a lot of you have been rocked to sleep. A lot of you have so conveniently forgotten how you got over here, man. How you ended up in this predicament. It wasn't no cruise ships that led us over here to America. It was cargo slave ships pursuing the Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 68th verse. All right, this is a part of the curses, man. The Lord didn't send us over here for rest. All right, the Lord sent us over here for a punishment. And the quicker you realize that, the better off you'll be, man. Now's not the time to be joining hand in hand with your enemies, man. Because the Lord is coming to, uh, to wage war against our enemies. And if you're found fighting alongside with them, you're going to get cut down with them, man. Point blank, period. All right. Just like this devil said in the beginning clip, they didn't achieve this nobility through chivalry. All right. These devils achieved their nobility, this rule over the earth through rape, robbery and murder. And now they've rocked you, Jake's asleep. All right. They gave you Black History Month. They gave you Juneteenth. All right. They gave you uh, 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 money. They so-called set you free from the chains of slavery, which they don't need no more because they got a chain on your goddamn mind. All right. You just need to wake up, man. All right. And realize who your enemy is. One of your chief enemies being Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. And the Lord is coming to wage war on all of our enemies, man. OK. And if you're found joined hand in hand with them, you're going to get put cut down with them as well. Point blank, period. All right. These devils did not achieve this rulership through chivalry. They didn't achieve this rulership through through uh, upholding treaties, upholding their word. Look at Gad and Reuben. All right. How many treaties they made with the so-called Native American Indians, North American Indians? How many they made and how many they broke? Every single one of them. Matter of fact, let's grab this in Psalm chapter 58. All right. And let's start at verse three. All right, it says the wicked are estranged from the womb. All right, and the scriptures describe the nation of Edom as being the wicked. All right, according to the Bible. All right, Malachi, the first chapter. All right, Esau, Edom has been described as being the wicked. All right, so when the scriptures speak about the wicked, oftentimes it's speaking about the nation of Edom. All right, which is the so-called white race today. All right, it says the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is as the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. 
which will not hearken unto the voice of charmers, charming ever so likely. Break their teeth, O, o God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let him be cut in pieces. All right, and that's what the Lord is coming to do. All right, he's coming to break the teeth of these young lions. All right, the scriptures also speak about in 1 Peter 5 and 8. All right, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. All right, and the Lord is coming to break the teeth of these young lions. All right, these, 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 this nation. All right, who hunts the steps of our nation daily, who think of devices, who think of ways to overtake our nation because they realize that if our nation follows all right, the standard of our power, we'll be on top. And not only will we be on top, that, we, that will mean that they'll be in subject, uh, subjection. And so for fear of that, these nations came together all right, with one consent to cut us off from being a nation. All right, let's get that in Psalms chapter 83. All right, in verse 2, it says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. Now it's about to name the nations who came together in this confederation to cut us off from being a nation. All right, it says the tabernacles of Edom, all right, which is the tabernacles of, of the so-called white men. All right, Edom all right, is speaking about the so-called white race today, the Caucasians, as it were. All right, and it names them first for a reason. All right, this is our chief enemy. All right, this is our chief enemy, who in the day of our uh, calamity said, raise it, raise it. All right, even to the foundation thereof. It says the tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs, of Moab, the so-called Chinese, and the Hagarines, Gabal and Ammon, the so-called Japanese, and Amalek, all right, those 1948ers in our land calling themselves by our name, the Philistines, so-called Africans, I mean, Africans, oh, yeah, so-called Africans, who are Hamites, according to the Bible, all right, which with the inhabitants of Tyre, more Africans, Assur also is joined with them, they have hope in their children a lot, Salah, all right, and these are all of our enemies, the Lord named our enemies, okay, which are the other nations, these other nations are not your friends. Why? Because they realize that they'll have to be on bottom. They'll have to be on the bottom if we're on top. As long as the Lord favors us, that means that they're on the bottom. They're in servitude. And they don't want to be servants. So therefore, they came together with just one, with one consent, all right, under this confederation, all right, and consulted to take our name away. All right, it's like this dude passing by. Got me mixed up with my words. But it came together with one consent to cut us off from being a nation. All right. And this is the fact that it matter. All right. And you see in articles and, and, and different situations like this, how true this is, man. All right. Here it is. You have co-workers plotting on them for probably years. They said they invited him out one time before and he didn't go. They were planning on killing him then, you know. But Jake finally gave in. He finally trusted his enemy, which the scriptures tell us not to do. He finally trusted his, trusted his enemies, and this is where it led him, to his grave, with a pregnant fiancé, with a kid on the way. The Lord tells us to do specific things for a reason. The Lord told us not to trust our enemies for a reason. The Lord gave us these scriptures for a reason. He gave us the layout of Esau Edom. He gave us the mindset of the devil. All right, he gave us the mindset of these nations concerning our nation. And if, if you continue to break that, if you continue to not listen, this is where it leads you, man, to the grave. All right, constantly in a state of disappointment. Okay, this is a Sirach, chapter 12 and verse 10. And he's never trust thine enemy. And the Lord just listed all of our enemies in uh, Psalms, the 83rd chapter. For like his iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as after thou wipe the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not altogether been wiped away. All right, these devils love to humble themselves. They, they love to come crouching, you know. They love to come in a, a humble and meek spirit, seemingly, to overtake you. All right, just like they did Gad and Reuben. All right, just like they did to the whole world. All right, they come with this, these sweet words, you know, these sweet philosophies. And they, they reel you in. And once they reel you in, 
All right, they 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 um uh, they show their true colors, man. They show their true colors like it's iron rusted. Or eventually, iron will rust. No matter how good you take care of it, eventually it will rust. Just like this devil's wickedness, man. Eventually it will rust. Eventually they're going to show their true colors. Especially in the times to come. Because we haven't seen a desperate devil. We haven't seen Esau eat him on the ropes. We've seen a prosperous eat him. We've seen uh, a, a, a bountiful eat him. So to speak as, as far as their riches As far as their kingdom So as it's falling You're going to see A more desperate And desperate Edomite And if you're continually Joined into their hand You're going to be cut off with them And they're going to show you Their true colors Let's get this In verse Lamentations Chapter 4 and Verse 17 It says As for us Our eyes have yet failed For our vain help And our watching We have watched For a nation That cannot Save us all right, and our people look to this nation, chiefly the nation of Edom, all right, for salvation when they didn't put us in this predicament. All right, the Lord put us in this predicament, and He's the only one that can save us out of it. The Lord sent us into captivity. Esau, Edom can't take that away from us. The Lord has to take that away from us. All right, our nation has looked to uh, our nation has looked to the other nations for salvations for salvation in which they can't provide. All right, and they continually show this, man. They continually show. How they're not for our nation. How they truly feel about us. Whether they come out in the movies. Whether they come out with a slip of the tongue. You know, you hear some some uh, secret, you know, conversation between Edomites that was never meant to get out. All right. Or the way they treat you. You know, just look at just look at the occupations that our people hold within this world. Cooks, entertainers and justice. That's it. That's all our people have been uh, allowed to flourish in, man. They haven't been allowed to flourish in so-called politics. You know, we don't have a seat at the UN. You know, we don't have a seat at these real, uh, these G7 summits. We don't have a nation. We don't have a language. We don't have a culture, a true culture that wasn't given to us by our enemies. All right, because black culture has been given to you by Esau Edom. All right, he's just giving you something to mimic. All right, he's been he giving you a culture all right, to mimic. Uh, that resembles himself, which is a culture of rape, robbery, murder, and death. All right? We don't have anything, man. All right, and these nations constantly flaunt that in our face. They constantly show us, you know, the, what they've been doing to us. You know, how they do us. How they really think, how they really think about you. You know, so it says, as for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. All right, and this nation, Esau, Edom, cannot save you, Jakes, man. All right, the so-called white man cannot save you. He was put in place to destroy you. He was put in place as a whooping stick, all right, for the rebellious of our people. And he constantly shows, man, that he's not here for our salvation. He's here for our destruction, all right, which goes to show this video I wanted to show, all right. And now it comes out, all right, that Biden has fund, funded, all right, this, uh, this law, this bill, all right, to put thirty million dollars into effect to uh, give crack pipes to um to druggies to drug addicts, man. All right, <laughs> which the crack epidemic affected the majority of you so-called Negroes, man. Now instead of spending money to get you clean, thirty million to get you into rehab, they spending thirty million to just kill you off. Yeah, go ahead and overdose with this. Hopefully this one, hopefully this will be your last crack pipe. Overdose on this, nigga. A <laughs> million dollar grant program geared towards reducing drug harm and hopefully saving lives. Our KSAT Trust Index team received a question from a viewer asking if the money is going towards crack pipes. Our Alicia Barrera helped verify that the information is true. And she talked to one local nonprofit that says while they have not received any of that grant money, they say these kinds of programs actually save lives. $30 million are being invested by the Biden-Harris administration to support drug harm reduction services that include treatment, prevention, but also syringe exchanges and smoking kits, including crack pipes. Less use, less burning, less spread of disease. That is what we're trying to accomplish. Gavin Rogers is the executive director of the nonprofit Corazon. 
He says that clean needles, pipes, and outreach are evidence-based approaches that work. It is critical. This is life-saving measures. A holistic harm reduction program is more than just needle exchange. Man, this is madness. <laughs> All right, this is madness. And this also shows the state of this Esau Edom's kingdom, man. All right, it also shows that these devils are falling, and they're falling at a rapid rate. All right, they have to resort to, to aiding crack addicts, man. This kingdom is finished, man. All right, and if you jakes continue to join hand in hand with it, all right, instead of seeking the Lord, your your true power, you're going to be cut down right along with it, man. You're going to fall right along with it. All right, let's grab these last two and then we'll cut it off. All right. This is Isaiah. Chapter 30. In verse 1, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel and not of me. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin. That walk to go down into Egypt, which America is the modern day Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust of the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. All right. And as long as you just continue to trust in this Pharaoh, all right, in this government, in this system, all right, it's going to lead to your shame. It's going to lead to your confusion. It's going to lead to your disappointment. All right. Recognize who your enemies are, man. All right. Because they're out here to destroy you. All right. The scriptures tell us to be sober and to be vigilant. All right. Because our adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. All right. We have enemies. Okay. And those enemies are out to overtake us. Now is not the time to be joined hand in hand with our enemies. Now is the time to join hand in hand with our power, our true power. Which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, so that we may receive salvation. All right, because the Lord came to give us life and life more abundantly, man. All right, the Lord is coming to set us free from this captivity. All right, and to lead captive our captors. You see? So, with that being said, you know, that's all I really have to say, man. I just caught this article earlier, you know, and I just wanted to put this video out through the spirit, man. All right, recognize your enemies. All right, because these devil's true colors are only going to show more and more as this kingdom continues to fall. All right, shallow one.